In this video, I will show how to work on Kendo UI grid using ASP.NET MVC. Before we are going to start, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. This one is a MVC project. Here I have created one controller that is a home controller. This one is a blank. Only one action method is here. And uh, I am using that uh, SQL server with Northwind database. So if you will look that one, this one is that uh, one database that is a Northwind database. I am using only one table that is a supplier table. You can see this one is this much data has been. This much column and data has been here. Okay. I am not going to use that all those columns. Some columns I am going to use to display in that Kendo grid. Now open the Visual Studio. Here you can see that I have added that entity finiver that is a Northwind DB model. You can see that one that all those column will be here. That supplier name, ID, uh, company name, contact and that all those things column here. After that I have created view model folder. In the view model folder you can see there is a one class with that properties that is a supplier ID company name and um, because I'm not going to use that all those columns some columns I'm going to use from that uh, supplier table so I have mentioned here now after that I have created just uh, go to the so all file here you can see that there is a one kind of folder I have created and I have added some of that uh, one javascript file that is a kendo.all.mean.js that's this one you can get from that uh, website also and the two css one is the kendo command.mean.css another one is a kendo.custom.css that two now i'm going to add one reference for kendo that add reference that uh, kendo.mvc.dll just click on ok click on select that one checked and click on ok now that that has been added you can see you can find here okay kendo.mvc now just open the view folder let's see view is been added there you can see that view has been also added here okay that two is added now first i'm going to create one action method public public is to return the json result okay let get all supplier right so here same like that i will create that i own variable of a your what's the name of that supplier view model so going to use that supply view model so just give the name list of supplier view model okay from obj supplier in your what's the entity's name just create the constructor and entity name is will be the north wind db entities now going to create the variable of in north wind db entities now after that in the constructor i'm going to create the object so use that north wind db entities and dot here that I'm going to use the supplier only one triple then select new select new your supplier view model now assign the properties one by one that is first one is the address obj dot address that city city company name company name contact name contact name contact title Supplier that all okay that one is done just format this one and here I'm going to return the JSON result that is the JSON result so JSON 
that one it was list of a supplier of view model into json dot allow it that's a simple okay. now going to use that in the view and here now we are going to start that that so first one is that you add the red html dot here we can write like a can do okay that will be the bracket then it will nah, because i'm going to create the grid so grid so he just uh, make this one down and this one also down so here it will become that your model the name that which is a view model so what is this that is a supplier view model just paste it here that is a supplier add the reference so it will be added the reference here this view model okay now I'm going to give the name that is a name so name will be I'm going to write that a grid so after that we will to start that add the columns so this one is that your columns and inside that columns here you can write like all those columns so what is it the, it will be the column so it will mention here like a write the column and then you this this one is the column okay now here need to bind dot bound so bound will become that your all those properties which one you are going to bind the c dot first one is the c dot i'm going to ask that what's the name so first one is the supplier ready so we're going to add the supplier ready same like other also we need to add just like copy and paste it just check in the database how is sequence is a supplier ID company name contact name supplier any company name contact name then title address contact title address city region postal code city region postal code so open this one right click and go to postal code after that country we can write so go to here here we can write country that's all so this one I am going to move to here ok this sequence I am going to display ok next your uh, columns has been done if you look that column has been done now I am going to add that your html proper attributes so in the html attribute it will be the new style that is a new style so I'm going to write like a height height will equal to 50 pixel let me give me a basis this one it should be in here that is style also has been added now because uh, that grid we I'm going to add that all those things the like is scrollable should be scrollable groupable sortable pageable so just need to add that here it says sortable first one it will be the sortable just press enter then dot groupable okay now again the enter dot scrollable press enter dot that also now next one will be the your data source so here you need to add the data source data source so what is the data source dot ajax 
dot read because this one is that I'm going to use the read uh, you can add more like a CRUD operation you can do here so far because I, I, I only want to display that one data data so that will be the read only so read so what will be that read dot action so read dot actions and in, in, in this means like that so your action name and your controller name so action name if you will look here so i'm going to use that get all supplier just select that one get all supplier this one is your action name next one is your controller name that is the home now i'm going to add the page size so dot it will be the page size i'm going to display the five records at it one times after the page size now we can add that model so come here it will write the model so model will be this time going to move this one down it will be that model model dot actually is id okay that inside the id it will be that your p i'm going to add that p dot your student id supply that is sorry that's all now it's done this part has been done now we will go to that your home controller here this one I have to pass that one because uh, I will explain to you why we are going to write this one so this one will be the it will come back to your data source request source request that, add that one that here I am going to write that uh, data source request data source request I'm going to write it will be the your request that one so what's here here what you are going to pass this one need to be changed to be two your data two data source result and then it will be the this request So what's actually happening once you are going to do that pagination or like uh, if you want to because you are displaying that five records so that it will go to the server and it will take only five records not every time they are going to call that call that all those records then here it will do the pagination because of that we are writing like a data source request only the, those that I want which I want to display it. because sometimes it's happening like that so we we'll get that all those data then we can do the pagination okay now what we'll do we have to add that if your style sheet and javascript first open the solution explorer this one close that was where is that your the script first one is that your jscript mean.js is js here the next i have to add that open the kindle that the kindle.all the next is that your command.mean.css and next one is that custom okay the save it now i'm going to run the application just like uh, google chrome now you can see that all those records here because i have mentioned that page size is 5 that's why it's displaying that one page size is 5 okay now we're going to do that page generation this one is very so because we have used that if you look here in that controller that in the data source request i have mentioned that one that what will happen that once you are going to click on less like a five so it will take from some uh, server that much data only not all data will come so it's easy and uh, it will, uh, because of that it's loading time is the uh, fast so what all things we can do here just like he, uh, in that index if you mention that here so here we can add that your page size if you want to add that your sorry how much you width you want here so you can display like a width also there's so much the things you can do it here just like if you might make it there 50 and if you roll it uh, reload again So you can see that size has been changed now it's a 50 okay so if you want to do the format that all those things 
now here if you mention that one that is a supplier id is here but i want to change that your text so what you will do that only need to do that here by the title so title i'm going to add that your has this one you see this reload now you can see, you can see that the title has been changed here this title is the change now if you, you want to increase the size of this one that contact titles or company names if you want to increase that size that also you can do with that one that times company name that width will come with i'm going to add that 250 like simple just and reload again see you can see that company size has been increased company name okay and just like if you want to increase the size uh, that uh, the page size that you can do if you want to change to 10 so that 10 records will be display just reload I can see that 10 records is coming and do, do the pagination. Okay. So, what we have done till now, just we have added that uh, this references, okay, one JavaScript JS and one is a CS, and one that is a custom for the theme so because it's uh, showing that a black one. This, this, this style, if you look, that it's coming from that with that your custom CSS. okay just we have added that can do need to add your your reference here just like if you go to that uh, uh, reference you can, you can you have to add that can do dot mv dot mvc that reference because uh, here it will be required once you are going to use the data source are required source request that times you have to require that particular DL and for the intelligence that one that html dot kendo it will come from that only this particular can kendo dot mvc dll okay if you go to that home control just i have assigned and uh, that value which i am getting from that and uh, that northwind database that supplier tables that i have bind here that i bind only we have to call that here once you are going to use the dot data source so in the data source you have to assign that particular that your x action network and that controller name this is, is for, for basically once you are going to edit update the same times it would be happen that's why we are assigning that particular id because once you are going to update the data that particular supplier id is required there's so many things we can do in the later video, video sessions we are going to do us I'm going to show you that how what all things you can do in that particular grid view i hope it's a clear thanks for watching